Hi, my name is Pete Hahn, and thank you for watching this tutorial video. Be sure to visit www.hahn-tech.com for the full library of video tutorials. I hope this video increases your knowledge and helps you become more efficient with this topic, whether for home or work. Please support this channel by sharing these videos with your friends and colleagues. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to get the real-time live data from Thinkorswim's platform into a spreadsheet. In this case, we're going to be using an Excel spreadsheet. So if you navigate your way to the Market Watch tab and then select Quotes from the upper left, then in the upper right, you'll click the round button, move down to Export, and then select to Microsoft Excel and read the little message there all it does is say uh, essentially it's copied the information to your clipboard and now you need to paste it into an Excel document so I'll open up an Excel spreadsheet and I will right click and select paste initially you will see that the values are blank and then once the information is loaded from the Thinkorswim platform you see that columns B through N are showing live data Column A has got a list of underlines. These are all future symbols. And I want to show you some feature here that you can do. You can take advantage of the cell references in Excel. You see in the formula that you've got the forward slash DX. And then I'm going to replace that with a reference to cell A4. What's happening in cell B4 is that the value in A is invalid because it has an appendage at the end. So let's change it to a valid symbol like Apple, AAPL. And you can see that it's now showing in column B the last price of the underline. Over on sheet one, I've prepared a sheet that automatically does this. I've updated all the columns from columns B through M. And all of them will be referencing back to the value in cell A. So as long as you type in a valid symbol in column A, columns B through M automatically update with the live data. Here's another spreadsheet that I, <laughs> I got this years ago from, uh, from some website. And so anyhow, I wanted to show this one to you. This is just kind of an idea. All the cells with white background are loaded with live data formulas. So they're pulling live data from the Thinkorswim platform. And any cell with a black background is either a static showing symbol information or it's uh, showing a formula that is calculated off of the live data. So you see that every time the live data is updated, the formulas, the calculated values from those formulas are also updated immediately. Okay, I hope that piqued your interest, and I hope that you're already thinking about all the different ways that you're going to apply this method. In this next section, I've got the on-demand feature turned on for Thinkorswim platform. They call it Think On Demand. And we're going to navigate over to the Trade tab. And I'm going to show you that with the Trade tab, you can do something very similar to what I just demonstrated with the Market Watch tab. The button in the upper right allows you to export to Microsoft Excel. You receive the same message indicating that the information has been pasted to your clipboard. And then we'll click OK. And before loading that in the spreadsheet, let's hit the play button for the on-demand feature. Verify that we've got a clock that's ticking and we have data that's flowing into the Thinkorswim platform. Now let's go to a blank spreadsheet, right-click, and select Paste. And you can see what it's done is for every expiration month for the number of strikes that you had selected in the Thinkorswim platform to view, it is showing the bid, ask, uh, whatever live columns that you had placed in there. And you can adjust those columns in your Thinkorswim platform before you do this export. And you can see that the data is updated. You're seeing the bid, the ask. Uh, the bid size, the ask size, the strike prices are here. Those are static values. And you have your expirations. Those are static values. But you have formulas that are driving live data from the Thinkorswim platform into your spreadsheet. Great. So what would you do with that? Well, if you click on one of these bids, you see the code. It's using a formula, RTD, real-time data. 
and it's connecting to a server and it's grabbing the bid price for this symbol. So you see in this symbol right here is what's called the OPERA code. Could be pronounced OPERA. It's really an acronym. And the acronym is for, I'll show it to you here, Options Price Reporting Authority, O-P-R-A. Call it OPERA, call it OPERA, whatever works for you. And it's just the regulatory body that's responsible for pricing options and uh, that's the number that you need if you want to grab the underlying price, the bid, the ask, the volume, everything else from Thinkorswim's platform as it's listed here and put it into a spreadsheet. So by, cop by doing the export function from the trade tab you're actually doing all the grunt work right there just by a simple copy and paste because now you know what that opera code is for that strike price in that expiration month. And I'll give you an example of an application for this. We'll go over to sheet three. This is something I prepared before the video. And you can see that it's pulling live bid and ask. And everything else is a calculated value. And if we look at one of these cells that's live, you can see that it's referencing the value in cell C5. Okay, and the same thing if you go down to row six and click here, you can see it's referencing the value in cell C6. So what it's doing is it's pulling the opera code in column C and then deriving from that using the real-time data formula to the Thinkorswim platform and getting you the bid and the ask. And all I've done is a little bit of math here to split the difference between the bid and the ask and arrive at the mid price. And then I put in sort of a phony uh, cost basis. And then I have some formulas over here to calculate the gross profit loss and the percent. Now, it, by no means am I suggesting that this is a trade that is profitable or not. I'm not trying to tell you that this is a trade that you should do. I'm not recommending that you buy or sell any options or any stocks or any instruments of any kind. I'm here to instruct you on how to get the most out of your Thinkorswim platform, customize it to suit your needs the best. So don't try to make this anything more than it is. So hopefully this gives you some ideas on the possibilities. You can build very elaborate spreadsheets if you're that kind of a person, or you can pay someone else to build the spreadsheets for you. But you can build uh, spreadsheets that can uh, get live data from the Thinkorswim platform for your entire portfolio, and you could manage them and get a quick snapshot view, a summary view. Just depends, you know, the sky's the limit. Whatever you can imagine uh, can probably be built. And Thinkorswim makes it really easy by uh, simply exporting the formulas into an Excel spreadsheet. Now I did try this on a Mac system and the function is not available on the Mac. So this is Windows only guys, sorry. Uh, and I've only tested it with Excel. Uh, looks like there's an option for Open Office Calc, but I don't know that that's actually going to give you the same functionality. So that's all I wanted to show you. Hope that you find it useful. If you guys want to see any more details, like if you want to see how this spreadsheet was constructed and you want to see it step by step, you know, the bloody details, then, you know, just drop me a comment. Uh, I want to take the opportunity here to show you how, how you can reach me. Uh, we got the Facebook page for Hontech. We've got the Google Plus page for Hontech. And we have the YouTube channel for Hontech. So no matter how you've found us, whether through the website or one of these other channels, these channels are a great place to leave comments and ask questions and ask for more content. If you want to see these things explained in more detail, this is the place to do it. So, hope it helps. Take care, everybody. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. Be sure to visit www.hon-tech.com for the full library of tutorials. I hope this video increases your knowledge and helps you become more efficient with this topic, whether for home or work. Please support this channel by sharing these videos with your friends and colleagues. Thanks and take care.